In today's video, we're going to be going over six early warning signs you have high blood sugar, which is also known as hyperglycemia. Hyperglycemia means high blood sugar, whereas hypoglycemia means low blood sugar. Hyperglycemic blood sugar levels are considered to be anything over 140 milligrams per deciliter or 7.8 millimoles per liter. And the effects of hyperglycemia are not always immediately noticeable. It is possible for someone to go months or even years without realizing their blood sugar is elevated. But the consequences can be severe, including kidney failure and nerve damage. And in extreme cases, untreated hyperglycemia can result in a coma or death. So in today's video, we're going to be going over what causes hyperglycemia and six early signs that your blood sugar is high. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kate. I'm a certified health and nutrition coach. I post new videos twice a week here on YouTube talking all things insulin resistance, weight loss, sleep, and more. So if you're ready to take control of your metabolic health, make sure to click that subscribe button. And you can also find me on TikTok and Instagram where I share new posts every single day. Now, before we get into the symptoms and signs of hyperglycemia, I'm quickly gonna talk about what causes it. But if you wanna skip ahead and get straight into the signs, I always have timestamps on the progress bar down below. So you can go ahead and skip ahead. <laughs> now, when we refer to blood sugar or blood glucose, we're referring to the concentration of sugar in our bloodstream. There's roughly four grams or one teaspoon of sugar in the bloodstream of a healthy individual at any given time. However, the amount of sugar in our blood can increase depending on what we eat, if we're stressed, if we haven't slept well, and when we exercise. Temporary influxes in blood sugar are normal and not cause for concern. What is concerning, however, is when our blood sugar remains elevated and does not come back down to baseline for prolonged periods of time. Usually hyperglycemia is seen in diabetics, both type one and type two. It can be a sign that treatment is no longer working and that medication needs to be adjusted. But if you have not been diagnosed as diabetic and you have the symptoms we're gonna talk about in the video today, get to your doctor ASAP. As I said at the beginning of this video, hyperglycemia is something to take very seriously. You could have undiagnosed insulin resistance or undiagnosed prediabetes or diabetes. Diabetics' bodies are not able to manage blood sugar efficiently, and therefore it stays elevated for longer than it should. Now the reason that it stays elevated for those who have type 1 diabetes versus type 2 diabetes or insulin resistance are completely opposite. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease where the body is not able to produce insulin. Without insulin, there is nothing to take the excess sugar from the bloodstream to the cells, so blood sugar remains high. Insulin must be injected in order for blood sugar to come back down. Type 2 diabetics actually have the opposite problem. There is too much insulin being produced, and the cells that should be taking glucose in become resistant to the signals from insulin. I won't go too much into the difference between type one and type two in today's video. I'm going to link a video up above though if you want to know more. But anyways, the point is, is that hyperglycemia is caused by an inability of the body to manage blood sugar, and the consequences can be deadly. So again, if you're experiencing these symptoms, you need to talk to your doctor as soon as possible. And if you're already diagnosed with diabetes and prescribed medication, but you're experiencing these symptoms, this is a sign that your treatment is no longer working. So again, talk to your doctor and make the necessary adjustments. But anyways, let's get into the signs. Number six, you're always thirsty. If you are someone who is always thirsty, despite how much water you drink, this can be a sign of hyperglycemia. When blood sugar is elevated, the kidneys have to work extra hard to process the excess glucose. And if they fall behind, the excess glucose is excreted through urine. When this happens, it also drags fluids from your tissues, which results in dehydration and you feeling thirsty. And to go along with this, if you have to urinate more than what is considered typical, this can also be a sign of high blood sugar. For obvious reasons, these two symptoms tend to go hand in hand. Number five, fatigue. Frequent fatigue is another common early sign of hyperglycemia. When your body is not able to manage blood sugar efficiently, your cells are not taking it in and therefore do not receive the energy they need. 
The result of this is your body feeling drained and tired. Number four, brain fog. High blood sugar can also lead to brain fog, confusion, and trouble focusing. This is because high blood sugar affects neurotransmitter levels, increasing hormones such as serotonin and GABA. Number three, a dry mouth. Again, this symptom comes along with dehydration. And a lot of people do not realize that this is caused by hyperglycemia. So if you have a dry mouth, if you're always thirsty, hyperglycemia might be to blame. Number two, nausea. Nausea and vomiting can both be caused by high blood sugar levels. So if you don't have another explanation for why you're feeling sick, high blood sugar could be to blame. And finally, number one, shortness of breath. Too much glucose in the blood can have an effect on lung function, reducing the vascular diffusing capacity and making it difficult to breathe. Now, I want to stress this again, whether you've been diagnosed with insulin resistance, with diabetes or not, if you are experiencing these symptoms, you need to get to your doctor as soon as you can. Hyperglycemia is not something to take lightly. Now, the good news is, is that if you already know you struggle with blood sugar dysregulation, there are some natural ways to get it more under control. Insulin resistance, prediabetes, and type 2 diabetes are all reversible. So even if you've been diagnosed with any of these, don't give up hope. I'm gonna leave you with a few tips on how you can get better control of your blood sugar and improve your insulin sensitivity, ultimately reversing insulin resistance and type two diabetes before we wrap up this video. Tip number one is to be smart about your carbs. Never eat your carbs naked. And by that I mean always pair carb-rich foods with the source of protein and fat. So instead of having oatmeal with fruit, which is entirely carbs, add some protein powder, some nut butter, an egg, Anything that has protein and fat is going to help your blood sugar to be more stable. Tip number two is to drink good idea before your meals. This is a drink that's been formulated to help control blood sugar. It's zero calories, lightly carbonated, and it has a blend of specific amino acids that support your metabolism and help to control blood sugar. Now I've done experiments where I ate a meal that was high in carbohydrates and then I ate the meal again but drank good idea before. And my blood sugar response to the meal was drastically different. Good Idea recommends drinking a third of the can before the meal and sipping on the rest as you eat. I'm going to put a link to check them out in the description box down below, along with a promo code to save 10%. And tip number three is to take a walk after you eat. Even a 10 minute walk after you eat a meal just around the block, doesn't have to be a fast pace or anything, can make a big difference in your blood sugar. This allows you to use some of the energy for that meal immediately. Now I do have more tips, but I don't want to drag this video on too long. So I'm going to link a video up above if you want to know more. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for you today. Let me know in the comment section down below if you are experiencing any of these symptoms. Did you know they were related to high blood sugar? Let me know down below. I love chatting with you guys in the comment section. If you did enjoy this video, you might also enjoy my video on five ways to balance your blood sugar. You can check that out here. If you want to catch up on my most recent upload, you can find that here. And if you want to check out my coaching programs, including my seven day insulin resistance masterclass, you can find those here. Thanks guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.